feel the touch of a precious child. You know my best Hey y'all, this is Molly Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm making a video that I wish I had when I started live streaming on TikTok. I am going to teach you how to live stream on TikTok or any other social media platforms if you are a musician or even if you're a DJ. So some of you guys know I do live streams on TikTok where I play drums and I have my drums going directly into TikTok so you can hear my drum audio and I also have songs playing. So I put on little drum live concerts. But this isn't just for drummers, this can be for guitar players, vocalists, DJ. So definitely stick around and I will teach you how to have the best live streams. So there are two ways that you can live stream. The first way I'm going to show you is how you can live stream directly into your phone. And this is how I used to go live on TikTok. So basically this way you are using your phone as an interface. That might be a little confusing, but I'm going to, I'm going to explain all of this. So what you'll need for my way number one is you will need this lightning to USB three camera adapter. Okay. This is made by Apple. And let me stress to you, this is the most important thing you need and you need to get the Apple one. You cannot get an Apple certified one. I bought five Apple certified ones. None of them worked. You have to spend the $60 or whatever, however much this is. You got to get this for your live streams. Most important part and make sure that it has the charger because your phone will die. So this is the first thing you need. Second thing you'll need is you will need two interfaces. This will work with one interface. You can do this with one interface, but if you only have one interface, then you will not get audio from your desktop. So that's the only downside if you only have one interface. So those are the main components you need. And then all of the cables is really kind of depending on what instrument you play. So this is how you set it up. You have one interface. This is my EAD interface. Technically it's more of a module, but I can use this as an interface. So if any drummers out there use the EAD 10, you can use this as an interface. So how I, what I do is I connect this to my laptop. Okay. And then I get a quarter inch, got a handy dandy quarter inch back here and I plug it into the back. Okay. And then I send this signal to my second interface. Okay. You with me? So I'm basically connecting my first interface to my second interface. Okay. Connecting my first interface to my second interface through, through the back. And on my first interface, I'm connecting this to my laptop. So this is important. So this is a printer cable. I don't know the legit term, but it's a printer cable. So the reason I'm connecting my first interface to my laptop is because this is going to be my audio. So this is going to be my Spotify, my YouTube, whatever you want to play. So you have to connect that to your laptop. And then next step, you'll have your second interface. And in my second interface, I, what I usually do, this is how I do it, but you can do it tons of different ways. You can have some of your drums plugged into here. Like I'll have my EAD plugged into my first interface and then out of my second interface, cause I only have a two channel interface. I'll have my microphone coming out of it. Cause I have another port and then you have to put your headphones in your second interface. So don't put your headphones in your first interface cause you won't hear it. So headphones go in the second interface. And then the most important step is in the back of the second interface where you have your second printer cable. This is where you will plug in your handy dandy lightning to USB cable. Okay. So you plug that into here Boop. and then you plug this into your phone. Okay. And then you want to charge your phone because basically your phone is powering the second interface. 
Okay, so I hope this is making sense. I, I know it's a little confusing because there's two interfaces, but the first interface is plugged into your laptop and your laptop is powering your first interface. The second interface, your phone is powering. So your phone will die very fast. And that's why I said at the beginning, I stressed it because I made this mistake and I don't want you to make this mistake. You gotta buy the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter from Apple. And then literally all you have to do is go into TikTok and go live on TikTok and you don't have to do any special settings in your phone. I, I didn't have to go into my settings and switch anything. Literally, it will work, okay? So that is the first way. If you guys have questions about the first way, let me know in the comments. I mean, let me just go over this again. What you'll need is you'll need two interfaces. You'll need the Lightning to US3 camera adapter, which is the most important. The first interface you will plug in to your laptop, okay? via the via the um, printer cable. And then you will use an out from your first interface and you will put it into, you know, right here. You'll put it into an in in your second interface. And then you can plug in, let's say you, you know, you have a band, you have a 10 channel interface, okay? Then you can just keep plugging in stuff into that interface and you will get, um, you will get signal from that interface. And then on the second interface, you got to plug in to the back, again, on your printer cable. You will use the Lightning to USB to plug into your phone, and then you will have Spotify, and you can play it directly from your laptop, and you will have all of your, um, all of your mics. So that is way number one. All right, and we are on to the second way that you can live stream on TikTok and on social media, and this way is the more kind of how you would stream on Twitch. It's a little bit more sophisticated, but also this is great for if you're a gamer. I would definitely do this way if you were a gamer. So this one, we are going to be using OBS. Ooh, super fun. And we're gonna be using a couple of other um, things that you're going to have to install on your phone and also going to install on your laptop. And this is how I live stream on OBS. So I have, you know, I've already downloaded all this stuff. I know it works. It's, it's totally another great way. This is available on PCs. You can do this on TikTok. And then on Macs, it's available to some people on Mac. So you might not have it yet, but you will maybe one day. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need OBS. You're gonna need an interface. You're gonna need Shuttercast, which you're gonna download on your phone to use as a video camera. And you are going to need a desktop audio tool called Black Hole so you can get Spotify on your live streams. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is download OBS. Just type in OBS on Safari and you will find OBS Studios. Make sure that you download it. And then the next step, you are going to download Black Hole and I'll put the links for all these in the description. So the bl what Black Hole does is it takes your desktop audio and puts it into OBS. So you definitely need to do this. So just follow the steps, download Black Hole. Once you have it installed, you need to go up into the search bar and we are going to type in MIDI because we need to configure the audio to send it into OBS. So go to audio setup and then you are going to click on the plus sign create multi output dis output device, sorry. And then you're going to click all of these. So make sure that they have blue check marks on all of those, okay? And then we have it, then we'll have it configured, but I'm not going to do that. So in the next step, we're going to open up OBS once you have it all downloaded. And this is what it pretty much looks like when I go live on TikTok, but we're gonna make a new scene. So go down to the plus sign in the bottom left-hand corner, click on plus, and I'll just make this, um, I'll call this TikTok stream, okay? Now, after you've done that, go over to settings, and we're pretty much, let's just make sure that we configure everything right before we keep on going. So we'll keep everything good in general. We'll come back to stream. We don't need that quite yet. Output. If you're using an Apple, use Apple VT H264 hardware encoder. Then for audio, we'll do 48 kilohertz stereo. And then for desktop audio, let's keep that at black hole. Okay, we're gonna do black hole. Um, and then mic and auxiliary, I have black hole. Okay, video. 
you're going to do 1080 by 1920. Maybe mine's already set to that from before, but make sure that you change that. And then these other two things you don't really need. So then we'll click OK. And now we are basically going to be putting all of the audio and that kind of stuff into OBS. So let's do, let's start with audio probably. OK, audio input capture. So we're going to click on that. And this is basically the audio that is coming into OBS. So this will be your interface. So this is where your interface comes in. You're going to plug in your interface to your computer. And I already have an interface going in here. So I'll name this interface. And you know, in your interface, that's where you'll have, you know, your microphone plugged into and your guitars or your drums or whatever. So there's where your interface comes in. Click OK. Oh, this name's Arninius. Okay, I'll call this interface two, sorry. And then I would basically type in Audient 1D14. I'm not gonna do that because I have it plugged into Logic right now. So that's where, but see my interface does show up. So plug in your interface right there. And then your next step is we are going to get black hole in there. So this is going to be audio output. So I'll name this Spotify, cause I use Spotify. Okay. And then you're gonna press black hole. I'm not going to, but just press black hole. And then let's see what do you need next. Video capture device. So this is what I use for my video capture device. Some people use different things, but I personally found this one app after watching billions and billions of videos. And it was, it, it just worked really well. Like I was actually really shocked at how well it worked. I had no latency, nothing. It was like literally a perfect stream. And I'm going to be using Shuttercast. You can go get this in the App Store. I'll put a link down below. It's free, which is awesome. And literally use a cable though. Don't do Wi-Fi because if you do Wi-Fi, you might be getting funky dunky stuff. So get a, you know, lightning cable or whatever. I bought like a 20 foot one because this is my camera. So just get Shuttercast and I'm just plugging in my laptop. And then, so I plugged in my phone into my laptop. Okay, so it's saying you know, do you trust or whatever? Like, yeah, I trust. So this is where you'll go to the plus sign. And this one is going to be video capture device. Okay, let me open up and I'll call this iPhone vid. Press okay. And then Molly's iPhone. Okay. And then bam. Look, there I am. Bam, bam. And you can just size it and whatever. Sorry, I think the reason that it's a little um, latency right now is because I'm actually recording audio on my laptop. So there is a lot going on. There's a lot going on my on my laptop at the moment. So that's why it's really um, here. I'm just going to, I'm going to unplug it. We don't need to see my face. So that's how you get the phone video on there with Shuttercast. Very cool. And then that's pretty much the, honestly, that's like the basics of what you need, really. That's pretty much all that you need. I guess if you want to get really high tech with it, what I do is you can add in some um, text. So I can put in like Insta at Molly Rose Drums. And I do this sometimes, okay? And then this will be in my live stream, okay, which is pretty cool like bam, there I go. Okay, got a little bit of text going on. It's kind of nice, kind of fun. So then this is where the next part will come in. So you will need to go to whatever you are live streaming on. So I can go to like TikTok and let me see if it'll come up. I'm gonna go to go live. Okay, you see where my go live is? And this is how I'm going to get OBS to be streaming right into TikTok. Okay, so, you know, you can add a title, music, you can even put a picture if you want, but that's just what popped up. Save. And then this part, you want to copy your stream key and do not give anyone your stream key. Everybody will tell you this. Your stream key is very important to yourself. So you, what you do next is you copy your stream key. Don't show it to no one, okay? And then go into OBS, go back into settings, and then you go into stream 
and this is where you will paste your stream key in and then you just press okay start streaming and okay well hold on that I didn't put I didn't put a real stream key in there so basically you would press start streaming and then you'd be streaming on TikTok and I'm not going to stream on TikTok right now but that's um that's pretty much how you do the OBS one so if you guys have any questions about that be sure to put it down below Okay, well that wraps it up for this YouTube video. I hope that my two ways of live streaming on social media, I hope that it made sense. When I was first trying to figure all this out, there wasn't any good videos on YouTube kind of explaining the steps and exactly what you need. So I had to go ask a bunch of different people. I literally had to go ask people that were doing live streams like, hey, can you please send me a list of the stuff you were doing? And they were so um, gracious to me and telling me, what to do. So I just wanted to make a video and so you guys can go live on social media and it can look great and it can sound great. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put all the links down below and let's see, you guys can follow me on TikTok at Country Drummer Girl, at Instagram, Molly Rose Drums. And if you guys want me to make more videos like this, more drum content, more tech content, just comment down below what y'all want and I will do it. So have an amazing week and I love you guys. Peace out.